After World War II, the tense confrontation between the United States and the Soviet Union formed the Cold War, which in turn led to an all-out arms race. In particular, Moscow and Washington have sought to develop the best fighters to ensure air superiority. The United States Navy was an early and enthusiastic adopter of new technology in aviation. The early scrap-wing aircraft proved to be a performance superior to the straight-wing design. But for a carrier-based aircraft, which need stability characteristics and low speeds when hitting a small flight deck. That was a real problem. Grumman, the US Navy's leading aircraft manufacturer, had a solution. Grumman came up with a new concept called the variable geometric wing, which combined the low speed stability of the straight wing with the high performance of the square wing. The Grumman XF-10F Jaguar was a swing wing fighter prototype offered to the United States Navy in the early 1950s. Although it never entered service, its research paved the way toward the later General Dynamics F-111 and Grumman's own F-14 Tomcat. The Jaguar originated as Grumman's Model 83, essentially a cropped dare to wing version of the F-9F Panther that was in service with the U.S. Navy. The idea was that F-10F would be an evolution of the F-9F and use several components of that aircraft in its construction. The prototype featured a T-tail with the horizontal stabilator a small pivoting center body with a dental side control at the nose and a large rear delta main wing mounted atop the vertical fin. The single turbojet engine was fed by chick intakes. The high shoulder mounted wing could be moved to two positions, a 13.5 degree sweep for a takeoff and landing and a 42.5 degree sweep for a high-speed flight. Grumman issued their proportion to the Navy in September 1947, with the proposed engine being a Pratt and Whitney J-22 turbojet engine, an American version of the British Nene, an armament for a 20mm cannon, as well as hard points for bombs and rockets. The planners then wanted to replace the engine with a new Westinghouse J-40 Asia flow turbojet engine then in development. They also wanted radar, specifically the APS-25. The XF-10F Jaguar was expected to reach a top speed of 710 miles per hour with a range of 1,670 miles. The prototype XF-10F first flew on May 19, 1952. Sufficiently impressed, the U.S. Navy followed an order for 112 machines under the model designation of F-10F. Despite its promising potential, the war ended its service life as a single prototype. There proved too many issues for the Jaguar to overcome performance from the temperamental XJ-40WE-8 engine led to an underpower aircraft as thrust output reached only 6,800 pounds during tests. The variable geometry wing worked as planned but proved a bit too impractical for a frontline carrier-based fighter use. As a result, the Model 83 project ended in April 1953.